Guys, I'm here again with part 2. So you need not to wait anymore for part 2 because I know many of you were really excited that when will Zarin start part 2? When will she upload part 2? So no more waiting. Let's move on to the main discussion. Where was I? Yeah, I was talking that our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam always used to help his uncle in any way he asked him to help him. So in this case, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was going on a tour with his uncle far from Mecca. When they were on the tour, they met a priest named Buhaira and that priest predicted that Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would be the Prophet of Allah. So. Buhaira told Abu Talib that it is better if you send your nephew back to Mecca because it is a risk to go on the tour. The enemies might harm him. So Abu Talib sent his nephew, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, back to Mecca with a few servants. And let's come to the main discussion of part 2. This is, there was a fair of Okas where there was gambling and a lot of fight. This fight was named as the fight of Fiza and it continued for a long five years. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam could not tolerate it because he was in love with peace. He wanted peace all around the world and all around the society. So he formed an organization called Hilful Fuzul, the organization for peace. So because of this organization, peace spread worldwide. This spread so fast that our Prophet Muhammad couldn't believe it and people stopped gambling and fighting and our Prophet Muhammad fame also spread worldwide. He was known as the truthful or Alamin. So he was also known as Alamin and Alamin means truthful. Let's come to another story. Here are uh, once day the members of few of the organizations like Quraysh tribe or Bon Israel tribe, the leaders of those organizations, they were like fighting with each other. Why? They wanted to place a black stone, holy black stone on the wall of Kaaba. But there was a conflict that who will place it? There were many leaders among them and who will place it? So they started fighting. But they came to a decision that the person who will first enter the Kaaba Sharif tomorrow will be able to place the black stone on the wall of Kaaba. So, in this case, the first person to enter Kaaba the next morning was our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the leaders were very happy because they knew that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was truthful and he was al -Amin. So they were really happy to get a very good man for placing the stone on the wall of Kaaba. And in this case, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spread a white sheet and then he placed the black stone on that white sheet. And he told all the leaders to take it and they all took it to the wall of Kaaba and they placed the black stone on the wall of Kaaba. Each and every leader was happy to take it and place it on the wall of Kaaba. Another story. This is the nubuat of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After his marriage with Hazrat Khadija Radiallahu Anhu, he used to remain in meditation in the cave of Hira, three miles far from his house. He used to have deep thoughts about Allah and he used to have great feeling towards God. And in this case, one day, an angel appeared before him with the first surah of the Holy Quran, which is Surah Al-Alaq. And the first word of the Holy Quran was Ikra. Ikra means read. So, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam attended Nabot in the 27th of Ramadan, 610 Ad, at the age of 40. So, thank you everyone for watching this video patiently. I know you guys were really excited for part 2. And this is it. So, thank you so much. I'm really glad that I explained the idol biography of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to you. May you be happy in your life and may you stay safe. Take care of your health and stay tuned for my next presentations. See ya! আপনার সন্তান আপনার কাছে একটি স্বপ্ন একটি প্রজন্ম একটি বাংলাদেশ হ্যাঁ দেশ গড়ার প্রত্যয় প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয়েছে বস বাংলাদেশ অনলাইন স্কুল উই শেপ ফিউচার ফর অ্যাডমিশন প্লিজ কল অর এসএমএস টু 01620004200